It's unfortunate, but after almost a year of abuse, my pannier rack has finally failed. Now this is bad because I use this, this is important. I need it for my locks, I need it for my puncture repair kit, I need it for uh, extra layer, camera equipment, all sorts. And it doesn't really fit onto the bike anymore. So while I'm waiting for a replacement, you will use this rope which the cavers have very kindly donated me. Well, um, that happened. Hi, I'm Stuart Morris. I'm cycling to every large town near me in order to send me distance and rating them with the end goal of reaching Flamborough. This is your review. Look at this. There's only one cow standing in the entire field. Now, you might just think these are some lazy cows, but I say this. This is a lecture. And so we began our cycle to Driffield. One of the disadvantages of cycling east on a sunny day is that the sun's in your face for the entire journey. up to Pocklington now. Ah, Pocklington. You never disappoint. There we go, check that out. The shot I always wanted. Pocklington's a market town. Wow, never knew. Suddenly the roads gave way to stunning countryside. I'd stumbled into the Yorkshire Wolds. Driffield has a very special significance for me because it's the last York Review town we passed through on the road to Flamborough. So when it comes to my final end goal, my final destination, I'll be coming back down this road and I am thrilled that it's in an area it's so awe-inspiringly beautiful. What a fitting place for my final episode today. That's an expensive coffee. Driffield is a market town about 30 miles east of York. It was named one of the best places to live in 2019 by the Times and is home to people who get a bit too excited about onions. Within moments of touching down, I'd already found a pub to have lunch in. It even had something to do with TripAdvisor. So I just ordered the thin OMG burger and the uh, waiter said good luck. So I'm looking forward to this. Second update. I've just been told that the burger was so thick it takes a very long time to cook. So uh, an abnormally large burger is what I'm expecting here. Oh my god. I think it's huge. I'm 
I never feel hungry again. One. Twenty-nine. Seventy-two B. I don't understand this at all. Driffield Canal is the number one spot on TripAdvisor for all of Driffield. Now, when I first read that, I assumed that Driffield is going to be a completely empty town if the most notable thing about it is the canal. But when you actually get here, it's really nice. It stretches on for quite a bit and it's a lovely walk alongside. I mean, granted, it's only about a five minute walk, but still, on a day like this, it's fantastic. you look over here, the water is so clear that you can see the uh, you can see all the plants underneath it. When I was in Thirsk, I remember thinking to myself that's probably gonna be the last sunny day of the year. You know, it was mid-September and it started to get a bit colder outside, but here we are, Driffield, and look at it now, it's glorious again. I'm in a t-shirt, in a t-shirt, it's the 29th of September. Surely this has to be the last day of summer, surely. It can't continue into October, can it? I have to dig deep to find things we can do in here. And, uh, this next spot isn't even on Google Maps, so I'm hoping that it actually exists and I'm not just following a strange note from a strange website. Oh, here it is. The mound you see behind me is all the remains of an 11th century Motton Bailey castle called Moot Hill. Motton Bailey castles are a type of castle where you have the mot, which is a big hill in the middle, surrounded by a bailey courtyard. While no one knows for sure when it was abandoned and destroyed, it is believed to date back to the 15th century. looking at here. Did a demolition firm just get halfway through a job and think, yeah, that's good enough? What kind of door is that? Weird. Turns out it used to be White Sugar Mill. Locals hate the eyesore, but the council says there's nothing it can do. It belongs to the private sector now. England, there are lots of days you can expect free gifts. Birthdays, Christmas, Halloween, Easter. But for the children of Driffield, there's one more. New Year's Day Scrambling. The ancient tradition of scrambling dates back to the 18th century, when children would gather in large crowds outside of shops and by traders, and recite them with the following chant. Here we are at half time's end, a bottle of rum and a crown to spend. Are we disheartened? No! Shall we win? Yes! And upon hearing this chant, the shop owners will throw candies and coins out into the massive mob of children that has gathered outside their business. And that is scrambling. And it's still practiced today. Everyone in the Driffield area, keep your eyes open for Sammy, the cat with the beautiful nature. Driffield is nice, but it's very small. There isn't much of a town centre here at all. But there are plenty of nice things to look at if you know what you're looking for. And so for those reasons, I'm going to give Driffield a York out of Yorkshire.